Hello everybody, this is Mr. Omniscient One, and welcome to yet another StarCraft II commentary. Uh, this time I'm bringing something a little different to you guys. Uh, I know we did a Protoss vs. Protoss just a couple of games ago, and we just saw a Protoss vs. Terran on Scrap Station, and I decided it was time for a Zerg vs. Zerg. We haven't seen quite as much Zerg as any other race. We've seen a lot of Protoss. We've seen Protoss in almost every match, because I'm very familiar with Protoss. But I decided to uh, be a little daring here, and we're going to watch a little bit of Zerg vs. Zerg. Here we've got a uh, game between Fadia, who is our pink Zerg in the top right of Zelnunga Caverns, and Exhale, who is the Zerg in the bottom left. He is the baby blue Zerg. And um, in Zelnunga Caverns, the, um, some important things to note is there are quite a few expansions here. And the way the map usually divides, it's, it's usually either uh, divided this way, so... Um, Exhale would take this base, this base, this base, and this base. Oh, looks like there's some kind of friendly banter going on here. <laughs> um, I guess this is some kind of a custom game match. And then um, Fadio would take this base, this base, this base, this base. Or sometimes it's divided right across this way. But that's a little... I mean, usually you don't get to five base play. Um, it's especially on this map, but um, these two um, Zelnaga watchtowers, they cover quite a bit of space, and um, uh, sending a unit there to uh, cover those gives you a lot of information as to when your uh, enemy is moving out, because there's really restricted um, space that it can move through. We have Fadia sending out the drone uh, rather quickly. Interestingly enough, he's sending out his um, overlord on a really interesting uh, path, kind of interested to see as to um, why he's sending it on uh, in this path. It looks like he actually has it on a K or a Q, whatever. Looks like he's mainly just scouting for any kind of cheese or early ling rush that might come and just so that way he can have it to know uh, when that expansion is going up. But uh, here we have Fadia getting a rather quick expansion, much faster than um, Exhale is getting. Exhale is... Um, Decided to get a pool and then gas, and um, so he's probably going to be getting a really early link speed and uh, maybe a fast in the lair, whereas Fadia just started his spawning pool. So we have two very different um, styles here, with the two drones plan tag, and um, we're uh, going to see that Exhale is going to finally see this uh, expansion and uh, by something weirds going on somewhere. I don't know. Something happened, and he's all weirded out. <laughs> but, uh, excellent. I get a little bit of scouting information here. I don't think he quite... Uh, he did see the spawning pool. He hasn't seen the expansion yet, which is a little bit of a blunder. But, uh, he probably imagines that he is going expansion since he saw that this pool is still building. His queen's about to pop, and he'll be, um, putting larva in right... He actually, interestingly, is playing with no hotkeys. Hmm. Very interesting. Diamond player with no hotkeys. I have not seen that before. Very interesting decision. But, um, again, this is, these are two very standard Zerg uh, builds. We have Fadia building these four Zerglings just to defend from these four Zerglings in case he decides to attack with them. And uh, as a Zerg player, it's um, often a balance to see, um, or at least in Zerg vs. Zerg, it's a balance to see who can manage their larva the best, and it looks like Exhale is deciding to do a really um, Zerg heavy push, uh, Zergling heavy push, and he wants to do some damage real quick to um, uh, try and make up for the fact that his um, expansion is going to be up a lot later than uh, Fadius. Again, I'm sorry for all of these uhs and ums, but uh, <laughs> I'm very, not very articulate, and not exactly the fastest uh, not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, but here we have Fadia moving out with his lings first, and he's going to be overwhelmed by Exhale's lings here, and Exhale is probably going to follow him to his base, and uh, we'll probably see, yep, we have a spine crawler going up, maybe he might throw down one or two more, yeah, we have a Baneling Nest going up, which is, um, again, pretty standard, but uh, we have Exhale moving out with uh, this large force of lings, which is going to be the spine crawler is gonna do quite a bit of damage, but uh, it'll be interestingly he's deciding to kind of sack this expansion. So that's kind of an interesting move that he's doing. He's willingly giving up this expansion 
for a spine crawler. It's rather curious. Maybe he's just trying to buy time or something, but very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Um, Baneling Nest just finished, so he's probably going to morph. Yep, he's morphing these Banelings right in front of him, which forms a nice wall, so he can't get in, but he might kill off one of... Oh, wow, he just walks right through those Banelings. Never mind. So this is a um, very interesting battle. Well, uh, looks like Vadia's... These Banelings are going to pop and take care of the rest of these Banelings, but the damage was done. Fadia lost his expansion, and that'll give XL each uh, opportunity to get his um, expansion up. XL will get uh, a little upset about the Banelings. He figures he probably gonna wiped out Fadia, but in, he, indeed he could have, but the Banelings were the key to that battle. So we have uh, XL getting a Roach Warren and teching up to... <laughs> <laughs> he's getting a roach roar and he's going up the lair as well as this expand did one baneling just like pop all hold on did one baneling just kill all those lings oh yeah boom wow that's ouch lost a lot of lings just to one baneling video will be pretty happy with that and be like alright awesome win and again we have to keep in mind this uh this overlord here can uh, easily fly over here and tell um, Fadia when he's taking an ex uh, expansion and let him know what's going on. Unfortunately, it seems he might have forgotten about this overlord. He doesn't even have it hotkeyed, so he probably will have forgotten about it by now. So moving on with these banelings, probably want to pay, uh, take out a couple more lanes, maybe even do a little bit of a drone harass. But we have roaches popping now, which will um, take quick work of these um, banelings and lings. More so the Banelings than the Links, but even then, another Baneling working to catch up with the army. And he's far, far out of place. And he is sad because he has no home now. But anyways, <laughs> we have Fadia attacking up the lair as well with Banelings, and he just threw down two spine crawlers, so he's probably expecting some kind of um, attack. Look at those drones in there. They're freaking out. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, about that. So, again, XL still no hotkeys. I don't know what's up with that, but... Anywho. <laughs> Looks like XL probably saw this um, Overlord, so he knows that there is the possibility of that scout being there. He has this... Um, I always forget about this production tab. It's so awesome, and I never use it. Uh, exhale, not choose... He's just droning up. We have uh, Fadia getting Roach Warren now. Uh, probably going to get Roach Speed as soon as his um, lair finishes, maybe. We'll see what he chooses to do. Ooh, he's getting a Spire, actually. So that's a really interesting play. Um, unless... Ooh, no, they're both getting Spire now. Really? Almost... Identical timings there. Very interesting. So we have a uh, second extractor finally going down for XL. He finally has figured out, you know, I kind of need this money now, seeing as I'm going Muta. He's still droning up, whereas we see Fadia getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lings. So, 4.7 move speed. My god, that's fast. And on, man, just... Ah, oh, I didn't catch it. Wow. Those guys are fast on creep. Anyways, now that I'm done ooing and aahing, a little bit of a missed micro step there. Fadia moved in his slings and looks like he put him on a whole position and he didn't really get to do anything with him. He has this overseer in now. He can move a little bit faster than an overlord uh, without um, the overlord speed. So he's just going to take a couple of whacks from the screen, but no problem. No problem at all. He's just going to get a little bit of scouting information here. He's going to see this spire going up. Uh, or will he? He might. He's probably going to get picked off. Before he, so he's going to lose this uh, Overseer, which is... Uh, ooh, almost lives to see another day. But what I would like to see is Fadia turn all these into Banelings, and then just walk right into this mineral line, and he would just 
slaughter all of this. You might even be able to take out this hatch, but even then, that would still do a lot of damage. And Exhale has a lot of money in the pot. This is supposed to be diamond level play, but uh, I don't know. Both of these guys have really high, um, really high banks. But we have Fadia getting um, Flyer Attacks 1, which is going to make his Mutus even more effective, despite the fact that right now, or including the fact that Exhale still can shoot up with two units. But, uh, he's getting more and more spine crawlers. It looks like uh, there was a little bit of baneling bust there, taking out the extractor, which um, definitely is a play that I support, because an extractor is definitely a very high value target. That's where he's getting all his gas from, despite the fact that he's not using any of his gas. And he got this um, spire, but he's not building anything out of it. He's making no use of it. And we have uh, these three mutas coming out. And they're probably going to do a little bit of harass here. Maybe pick off some of these uh, floating poor little defenseless overlords. Maybe pick off um, a queen or two. And whoa! <laughs> XL is building ten mutalusks at one time. So this is... Um, he's definitely figured out... Oh yeah, I kind of need to spend my money, huh? So all these mutas are about to pop in. And, uh, great timing, too. He'll be able to s stomp on these mutas that are coming in. Uh, even though... But... Fire attack. Since fire attacks is about 60 seconds, uh, in-game seconds from finishing, he's probably uh, he'll definitely be able to do uh, his muta <laughs> muta count is definitely a lot more important. Still have a couple of bane links chilling here. Want to do a little bit of uh, exploding action all over these drones, but unfortunately they cannot. Still have more of these links. I'd like to see a little bit more active usage of these links and bane links that. Um, but unfortunately, he's choosing not to, and still no hotkeys from Exhale. God, that's painful to see. Ouch. Anyways, if we look at the units tab, we have 13 mutas for Exhale and 9 mutas for um, Fadia. Um, Exhale also has 10 roaches, and uh, both of them are on 2 base right now. Uh, we have Infestation Pit now going down for Fadia. And looks like uh, Exhale is getting another hatch, so he's gonna get um he's gonna be able to produce um, a lot more, which is, he definitely needs to since he has so many minerals. So he's probably gonna be getting a lot, of, probably going to be getting a lot of lings real soon. Um, Fadia not being too active about his um about throwing up larva, but uh, I've kind of growing to accept that this is not high diamond level play. But nevertheless, sometimes it, it's definitely not required to have an interesting game to watch. So, again, he's going to try and do some harassment with these mutas. He almost picked off that poor little mutalisk who got separated from the pack. We have these... A lot of mutas pop... I mean, uh, links pop in a lot of uh, mutas. He has a lot of mutas, actually. Muta count is 19 to 9. So, if Fidia were to move in with these pack of 9 mutas, he'd be... Bad news bears land. Doing a little bit of work on these destructible rocks, just thinking uh, ahead for when he wants to expand to his third base, taking out these lings so that way he does not have control of this. Uh, it's all like a watchtower. Again, this this um, muta count just continues to grow. We have Fadia getting uh, groove spines, which means he's probably going to be moving into higher risk real soon. And he's also getting Pathogen Glance and Zerg Missile Attacks 1, which further increases my thought that he's probably going to be going uh, Hydralisk real soon. And Pathogen Glance will make his... Um, <coughs> make his Infestors that much stronger. But here we have these Mutas, uh, these Banelings moving in, and they're, one's probably going to bust before he gets there, but the rest of these are just going to explode all over the place. Oh, tons of kills! That just... Oh, that's painful to watch.